Welcome, everyone, to Media Literacy or Broadcast Journalism. I'm very excited to have you aboard this year. And we're going to take a look at some testimonials and some stories from the Send TV greats who have graduated in the past. At one point, they were sophomores, juniors, or seniors, just like you, uh, here on the, in the first week of school, wondering what to expect. And I feel like their stories are going to help you understand that you have a place and that you have a bright future ahead if you take this course seriously. Uh, so enjoy their testimonials, and I hope that someday you'll be able to be on the Hall of Fame wall and making your own testimonial. Hi class. Hi, Mr. C. My name is Simone. I want to start off by wishing you guys an amazing, amazing, amazing school year. You got this. I am actually a former student of Mr. Cullinane. Um, my class was actually the class that pioneered what is the broadcast journalism program today. And if you would have told me that at 14, 15 years old, I would be basically creating a news station for my high school, I would have been like, no, not me. Um, but being a part of that program has taught me it did teach me how to push the limits, how there really are no limits. Most importantly, it taught me confidence. Um, and it also got me into one of the most prestigious schools, Loyola University Chicago, um, where I am a senior taking my last semester off to pursue on entrepreneurship. Um, I'm gonna plug myself really quick. I am a tarot reader slash medium. I'll tell Mr. C to put my info <laughs> somewhere. Um, so if you're interested, let me know. But I say all that to say that there really is no limit to what you want to do. And going to high school and being able to create that program with my peers and Mr. C really taught me like, man, you can do whatever you want to do. And I hope that is the same thing that you guys um, are given. And that's the same conclusion that you come to. Hi everyone, I'm Reagan Ivy. Um, I recently just graduated from DePaul University where I went for public relations and advertising and I graduated from SEN in 2017. So I was in the journalism program for two years and in those two years I was in charge of the question of the day. And what that was was me researching questions, thinking of follow-up questions, and then going into the cafeteria with a recorder and talking to people that you know, I normally don't talk to, sitting at tables that I don't sit at, um, talking to teachers in the hallways and just, you know, asking if I can have a minute of their time to just have a conversation with them and record it, which is usually the bigger deal. Um, but no, so what I learned from that, which has really been helping me now, is just that, you know, having a conversation with people that you don't know is scary, but it's just, it's not that hard, you know, you just kind of have to do it. And I think the journalism program kind of pushed me to just step out of my comfort zone and have conversations with people because now I'm on, on the search for a job and I'm doing interviews online and stuff. And it just kind of, I'm realizing that being more personable and set, and just not afraid to ask questions and talk to people, it's not that hard. And you know, that kind of just stems down to me going to cafeterias and sitting at tables, asking people questions. So I think the program has really helped me just step out of my comfort zone, have conversations with people, ask questions and not be so afraid. So I hope all of you can do the same and I hope you all have a great year. Thank you. Man. Scene, okay. <clears throat> Let me start over. Oh, I'm sweating. This light is bright and I'm still blonde. Uh -huh. All right, here we go. Hi guys, my name is Kendall Jackson Jr. I am currently a Loyola University Chicago senior and an alumni of Sin High School class of 2018. I'm currently a videographer, photographer, graphic design artist, entrepreneur. Um, I own my own business called Ardor Archive. And I just wanted to share my experiences about the broadcast journalism program. So, you know, when I first came to send I was a part of a different program then I transferred to the broadcast journalism program my sophomore year and I've always had this love for photography and videography like I wanted to do that as a career and like in my mind I'm like man I gotta wait to college to even get that opportunity to even have that shot of doing that and doing it at the fullest you know when I was a student in high school I always just wanted to go home right after my classes like 
getting up at 8 o'clock in the morning every day and like staying there at 3 was draining and I'm like I didn't want to stay for an at school program I just wanted to go home um, so when you know they introduced me to the journalism program which is fairly new I, like, I think at least in his third year um, when I came into the program I was like you know what might as well give it a shot because my mom always talked about having like a cooking class having like a automotive class having a journalism class and you know CPS schools normally don't offer that but send did and you know joining the the broadcast excuse me joining the broadcast journalism program honestly changed my life and I learned so much about myself and like the art of like communicating um, and filmmaking you know it was I felt that power that from that time I was in there from 8 a.m. to 3 15 I don't know if the time has changed but um, holding that camera and working and sending out emails and you know conducting yourself in a professional manner took me a long way in my own career and I loved it you know like it made me like you know I'm gonna stay after school for this event I'm like oh the dancers the scenarist dancers are practicing in the dance room um, during my lunch period, I'm gonna go to my lunch, I eat lunch for like 10 minutes and then go over there and film them dancing before their big dance show in a couple months so I can have that footage so when I create the piece. And you know, my role in the Sim Broadcast Journalism program was really um, being the de facto self created lead producer, which means chopping up the episodes, creating my own pieces on top of that, dealing with the social media. And it's just like, mind you, I'm only like 17, 16 at this time and I'm learning about full on adult roles that you know just taught me a lot um about what i wanted to do with my career and like the capabilities i have to really take it to the next level outside of just filming and taking pictures so um without the broadcast journalism but more importantly without michael cullen who was my mentor and like really helped change my life i wouldn't have got the full ride to loyal university of chicago and without getting the full ride to loyal university of chicago i would have not met my best friends who i live with and who i do consistent work with and create my own business and work with big clients such as Nike, Adidas, Champs, doing stuff for social media forms. Um, I would have never got my photo featured in New York Times Square without learning what I've learned in the broadcast journalism at 17, 16, in the formative years of high school. I would have never worked with one of my, personally one of my favorite producer and rap artists and mega producer in his own right. Pierre Bourne, who's done work for Drake, Playboy Cardi, Travis Scott, Young Thug, without learning at first from the journalism program. And like I felt this uber amount of confidence in myself and the ability that I was doing and really knew that this was worth for me because you know a lot of people really do want to be photographers and videographers, but the skill set I got in high school coming into college, I felt like I was already like five steps ahead of everybody. And to this day I'm still five steps ahead of everybody. I'm always willing to learn, but I already knew the fundamentals before Somebody told me these are the fundamentals. And without the broadcast journalism program, none of this would be possible. What I'm doing right now and living in a pretty good comfort and working with some of my favorite artists and pretty big artists to other people wouldn't have been possible without me being a part of the journalism program and learning all these amazing techniques about interviewing, emailing, and like different other techniques that Michael Cone has spent, who's, who's done it himself, but has decided to spread that knowledge to others and the youth as well. So. That's kind of my experience with the broadcast journalism program. And if you're interested in joining it, I 1000% recommend it. And like, even if you don't go into the film or uh, video realm, such as I, it could take you to other different levels with your real career. You know, you know how to cut up a video. You know what I'm saying? Most people don't know how to do that outside of iMovie. Um, you know how to conduct interviews, like maybe doing a job interview. You know what questions are going to be asked, or you're asking the questions. Um, putting together a presentation for the public to see. You know how to do that if you join them broadcast journalism program and learn those basic sets and you know sometimes it might come off as repetitive or like it seems so minuscule but those minuscule parts take you to a higher level later on in your life and I hope this video and like whatever I'm really saying helps those out who really need to hear it and like want to join, join the broadcast journalism program and thank you guys for your time Hi everyone, my name is BC. All the BC of Fanuga, you can call me BC though. I am currently a junior at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, U of I, UIUC, whatever you wanna call it. I went, I graduated SIN in 2019. Uh, I took broadcast journalism two years of high school and took journalism all four years. The best part of journalism at SIN was broadcast for me because 
it was fun making interviews, making videos, video editing. I think the only reason why I'm taking journalism right now in college is because I'm I just missed making videos. It was nice writing stories and all. I don't know. I just think it's a skill that everybody should have, but not a lot of people have that. And it's a money making skill. I know friends that make videos for people, music videos, and these are skills you learn in broadcast journalism. Broadcast journalism in high school definitely opened my I saw a lot of opportunities. I do photography now where I take a bunch of pictures for people like family and stuff because I tell them I had the experience and they pay me for it. So <laughs> yeah, um, broadcast journalism also helped me. I it put me on to this internship that I did my junior year and senior year of high school with Loyola University where we worked at a local news website called Rogers Edge Reporters. I don't know if Mr. Kalanay is still connected to that, but you should definitely ask him for that opportunity. That will open your eyes to a bunch of like politicians, knowing people really. I got to interview a couple of local politicians and I was actually one of the people that got to interview during um, the mayoral election for Lightfoot. I was there the night she was sworn in through Rogers Edge reporters. So you should definitely take advantage of broadcast shows in, in general. So yeah, thank you. Hello guys, my name is Oscar Marquez. I graduated from Senate in 2019. Currently a junior at Columbia College Chicago, majoring in broadcast journalism and also minoring, minoring in photography. During my time at Senate, I was part of the journalism program for all four years. During my time, during my first year, I have to say that I was really shy and awkward when I was used to tell people that I wanted to be a journalist. They didn't believe me because they knew that I was shy and didn't talk as much. But that all started to change when Mr. Collinane would have, have us interview people when we, had, when we had to write articles for class. I eventually had to get out of my comfort zone and practice my social skills. Eventually, as I, as I advanced in the journalism program, I started to become more confident and didn't struggle to talk to people for interviews. Pushing myself and getting out of my comfort zone, it was all worth it. During my senior year, I had the honor to be part of Sen TV for season, where I was able to cover school events, anchor for the show, produce some episodes, and much more. Now that I'm in college, I look back at how much I have grown as a person from being this shy kid to becoming a college student journalist. When I took intro to journalism in college, most of the stuff we were learning were like a review to me because I had learned it with Mr. Collinane. Compared to students that were starting from scratch in college learning about journalism, one of the biggest accomplishments I have done as a student journalist in college that I would have never imagined doing is investigative reporting for an article about a nursing home that took me four weeks consisting of a lot of interviews and deep investigation. I was able to experience what is to be a journalist in the real world. I wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't because of the Send journalism program that helped me push myself and get out of my comfort zone. Hi everyone, my name is Tashkia Sultana. I graduated Sen in 2019. And after graduation, I went to UIC for one semester. After one semester, I decided to go to a program called Year Up, which is a one-year intensive program for young adults that are looking to get started in the corporate world at an early age without a bachelor's degree. So it's six months of learning and development and six months of internship. Um, I studied data analytics, and after six months of learning about data analytics, I interned at JP Morgan as a data analyst, project management support, and software development support. Um, I graduated August 4, 2021, and right now I'm a data specialist at Midix Technology. Broadcast journalism helped me so much. 
it helped me come out of my shell it helped me be courageous and brave and talk to people without being nervous or thinking negative things and thinking about what they're gonna think about me or say about me you know i just became confident and started to feel more like myself i i guess you could say i found a family and you know anyone that comes in sen tv or in broadcast journalism at sen i feel like they just find a way to become a family and i found my passion in broadcast journalism and i hope you guys find your passion or i hope broadcast journalism helps you find your passion as well hey guys my name is kristen seralde i am a former student of mr c's i was uh, in the journalism program for about three years and right now I am majoring in the film arts uh, in Paris College of Arts and Emerson College. Um, and I wanted to talk about how the program, the journalism program has helped me overall. Um, first, it really helps you learn how to talk to people. Um, I think that without the program, I wouldn't be, um, it, I would have a harder time talking to other people and approaching people about my ideas and how I wanted to work with them and just making these connections and bridges, um, which I believe that uh, the journalism program does a really cool job in because it really helps you explore and um, they, it kind of forces you to talk to these random people and it's just amazing. Um, and then it also really helped me work with different people um, who I don't necessarily always agree with, but I think that learning to work with other people who, uh, who don't have the same mindset as you is always really important. Um, and, in a, and in a program like mine where there are only 30 of us, um, you have to work with these small groups and you have to learn how to work with people um, just in general, which I think um, is awesome. Um, and lastly, I think that the journalism program really helped me um, pick my career of choice and my major of choice almost, um, just because that the journalism program is not like any other program in SEN or in any other program in general it's not forceful and there's also not a built-in structure that you have to follow um which is so necessary i think when you're in high school where you take these little hobbies you have and put it into something that's a lot larger like journalism and um i think that that's how i came up with where i uh, wanted to major in, in film is that i was so interested in other people and i was also so interested in holding cameras and I put two together and I just wanted to make film. Um, and I think without, the, this, without this program, I wouldn't be where I am. And I would just be in a boring desk job. But instead, I'm studying film. Um, yeah. Hey guys, it's Naima. Um, you probably see my face on the wall, rumor has it that my face is up there on the wall. But anyways, I just wanted to say hi. Um, Colin asked me to come talk to you guys about um, how my life is now and how journalism has impacted me for like a future stance and now. So that's what I'm here to do. Um, as of my life right now, um, just a quick update. Um, I was in college, I go to Columbia uh, downtown, got a full ride. Um, I got the Columbia Sen Award and um, just faculty, like I got amazing awards. And originally I was going for journalism. I had switched to film because I realized I still want to do things with the camera, you know. Um, realizing film wasn't exactly the navigation I wanted to be in, I have now switched to photography. And honestly, major switching is okay, by the way, if they don't tell you that, but major switching is okay. But I am now a photography major starting this fall. Um, I am actually living my dream job right now. I just shot my first festival. <laughs> Yay. I just shot Summer Smash. Um, so if you want to go look at those photos, like I shot ASAP Rocky, Uzi, uh, a lot of those guys, like rap artists, rap artists. Um, it, my Instagram is name of the creator. Definitely a self promo, but also like just go check it out. Um, yeah, life right now is amazing. I'm living my dream job. And honestly, I don't think if I, honestly, I think if I didn't take broadcast journalism, my life wouldn't be the same, you know what I'm saying? Um, Colony and being in a class where everyone was really supportive of each other's ideas and like pushing you out of your comfort zone, like especially Colony. And you're watching this, I love you so much. Thank you so much. And I owe you so many things because you have definitely been one of the most important people in my life. But 
sorry if I'm getting boring, but I just want to say broadcasterism has definitely impacted my life and still sticks with me. It has taught me how to network properly, um, like even like those investigative skills that you take out there to go like interview and everything like that shows up with like my photography and like trying to like network and talk to these artists. Like I talked to Ski Mask the other day, like it's amazing. Um, but yeah, journalism has been it's such an impact on my life and I actually plan on minoring journalism still so I'm definitely gonna keep the touch but yeah life right now is great um I'm supposed to keep it under two minutes so I'm gonna try to keep it under there but yeah no I honestly this is the best class and you guys have the best teacher um yeah that's basically it so I'm gonna sign off um to my goods bye guys